So now we can get the first print start. So uh, what do we have? This is the new Maker Bot. Wow. Quick start guide. What a what a user experience. So we're gonna yeah, take that off and get rid of the foam. This unit is a pre-release model. The hardware is gonna be exactly the same as what comes out. Uh, the only differences between what we've got and what the customers will get is firmware updates and some software updates. That's cool. And uh, the other ones? Uh, probably had metal um, rails for movement, but the frame of the machine was plastic. I'm cool. pretty confident the MakerBot 2X had a sheet metal frame. That's the old, yeah. Did it start out as plywood? Your yeah. The very first the MakerBot, MakerBot yeah. plywood. Yeah, funded on Kickstarter. No, this is nice. Um, compared to printers I have at home, these directions are in English, so. You know, <laughs> Ooh. Okay. That's this is nice very tray. flexible build tray. It's magnetic, so ooh, ah. This one's really nice and oh, clean. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. Honestly, it looks so much like our F series. So material gets loaded in there, routed through these tubes, and then into the print pads. Hey. All right, turns good for a sign. Good for a sign. It turns on. Honestly, this is a really good looking machine. <laughs> it's, it's clean. <laughs> it's, it's, it's clean. Put that in there. Oh, check this out. So, you step out for a second, can you? Yeah. Look at that. It goes, it's got two, two levers there. Yeah. Yeah, and then that. This is meant to last. Hey! Oh my god! My, my camera. Yeah. Oh, it's so adorable. They want us to make sure the extruders are clean. Wow, look at that. Yep, nice and clean. There's 60 seconds and it's cool now. That's pretty fast. So we're on the next step, uh, essentially it moved around and it touched the nozzles off on that little metal piece in the middle, if you can see it. Yep. Um, and so now it's asking us to put the build plate back in. Um, so we'll, we'll do that now. <laughs> um, build plate is installed. So. I do the honors? Yeah, I'm cutting the ribbon. Snip the end. Cutting the ribbon. All right, what are you doing? <laughs> um, I'm trying to load the film in it. Ooh, so you can hear it. Yep. Whirry. So. Uh, so look, it's loading the film. Sign up now, Ken, next to the furnace. So I connected my laptop with the USB cable in the back, took my laptop back to my office, connected to the printer over the network, and sent over the calibration file. So now we can get the first print start. So, good news, we got approval from MakerBot. Um, we can start printing our own parts. We had a little bit of stringing and a little bit of delamination, so they sent us an updated firmware. Uh, like we said before, it's a pre-release pre model, so they're still uh, honing in the firmware. Uh, you can see on the second model, or it might be a little hard to see on the camera, but definitely much better. They were much happier with the results, so we're doing our first, first uh, house-made print, testing out a little more than just a cube. Um, the stringing you might see on the original model, uh, it's probably due to the PVA being a little bit gummy. Um, with the pre-production unit, they're still, again, tuning the material pro uh, profiles. Already we're seeing that even in the second model from the update, not nearly as bad as the first. So, we have the if you watched the old uh, desktop metal video time lapse, we had the CAD Dimensions logo that was flat. Uh, all I did here was 
tilt it up 30 degrees just so the camera could get a better shot of it. Get the video to shut it. Okay. A little stringy, but that can be easily picked off. Looks good though. I like it. Yeah. I like the stretch. It's very flexible. Yeah, when you, when you guys were building it. Yeah. Uh, that's not bad. That looks pretty good. Not at all. Actually, a lot better than I was expecting. Um, the layers look very nice. Uh, they told us because of their, they're still updating the firmware and software as we go. They told us to expect a little bit of stringing and really not, not too bad. We saw a little bit right towards the very end, if you can catch a little bit on the top. Mainly just due to a lot of quick movements at the very top of the part. But that's a fairly challenging part for retraction, so I was pretty happy with it overall. And uh, how about the firmware update? Did that really make a difference? Yeah, and we saw that in the, the calibration print we did earlier. A um, little bit of delamination on one corner, and we ran the exact same print a couple minutes later with the new firmware, and it fixed it right away. The stringing needs to be more, a little more fine-tuned, but overall pretty happy. The layers look nice. Pretty good.